You're listening to Business Radio Talkers.fm. My name is Wayne Buckler, and today my guest is Madeline Hicks. And Madeline joins me to talk about her real estate firm, Madeline Hicks Real Estate. Madeline, welcome to the program. Thank you, Wayne. Madeline, I'm guessing that, you know, Madeline Hicks Real Estate tells me what you do, but I've been wrong before. Fill me in on what sort of real estate firm you are. We're an independent agency in the north side of Brisbane. And we assist people with their next move, whether it be buying, selling or renting. So it's a very simple, uncomplicated you know, business. Or I should say very complicated business sometimes. Sometimes, yes. So on the north side, where are you focused? The northwest of the region around the Everton Park area. Ah, right. That's one of those areas that always strikes me that it's just about on the verge of booming there. Actually, Everton Park within the next two to three years will be the next it suburb in Brisbane. We've got a lot of development happening around here. I, I agree with you. It's just when you look at a map, you think, oh, that's quite close. Why hasn't that gone like all the others? Exactly. Now, Madeline, why have you opted to be an independent real estate agent? Uh, look, I've worked in the franchise system, and the franchise system uh, basically just fits you into a box and treats everybody as being the same when in reality we're all individuals. Uh, I suppose you could say the franchise system is a cookie cutter effect where I've decided to uh, go independent. I've been an independent now for four going on five years Mm -hmm. and I worked in the franchise system for 12 years. So I know both sides really well and being an independent gives me a lot more freedom and allows me to meet the individual needs of the client rather than treating everybody on this little conveyor belt where you're just a little sausage factory sort of thing. Oh, right. So uh, you you think the franchise system kind of constricts your ability to personalize your service a bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. Everything is dictated from the top. So, um, you, you know, you've got like anything, you know, you buy a McDonald's, you've got to make the hamburgers all the same. Yes. You know, it's, uh, you, you buy a, a Donut King, everything has to be the same. Any franchise is exactly the same. Yes. So that, that's the idea of a franchise. So there's no, you know, there's no meeting the individual net. So if I want anything slightly different, it's not going to happen. Hmm. It doesn't fit the, the corporate model. And, and that personalized service suits your personality by the sound of it. Well, I'd like to think so. Um, I was, um, as I said, I've worked in both, and I just find that there's a lot more more freedom. You're allowed to express yourself, and you're allowed to be a bit of an individual. So that suits my clients, and it suits me and the team that I have here with us. Madeline, do you do property rental as well as sales? Property management, I mean, as well as sales? We do. We do. Right. We have two arms to the business. One is the sales, and of course, the other one is the rental department or the property mm. management department. And so when people come to you with uh, with their property to be managed for rental, mm-hmm. what, do you, what do you think draws them to you? What's, what do you offer to the, the mix that's different? Well, to give you an example, last night I got a phone call at 7 p.m. from a tenant who had a, a huge water leak. Uh, the, the huge water leak, the phone gets diverted to my mobile after hours, even mm-hmm. though I don't manage the rentals. On a day-to-day basis, I have a wonderful team of three very highly skilled property managers. But the tenant was able to contact me straight away after hours. I got on, uh, called the appropriate person that we needed, and it was fixed. Uh, now, you try doing that with a yes. corporate office who finishes at 5 p.m. Yeah, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Mm, exactly. So I looked after the customer, who's the tenant, and I looked after the client, which is the landlord, and mm. I saved him money, and I saved the tenant stress. I, I guess my next question is the same question, but this time related to to vendors. What do you think it is that attracts vendors to you when they're looking to sell their property? Again, it's because we sit with them, we consult with them, um, we help them and guide them through preparing the property for sale, through the whole sales process. And you'll never hear one of my salespeople saying, this is what the market is saying. This is an educated buyer trying to bring the seller down on price. We present all our offers openly and transparently and say, Mr. and Mrs. Vendor, this is it. And if they say, no, we don't want to, we're never going to, we never push people down. We do, we offer them the possibility of making their own decisions without us as agents 
being money hungry for our next commission and trying mm-hmm. to drag their price down. Because the reality is that most agents, all they're interested, they don't care about maximising the price. They, max, they care about making their sale. And that's not what it's all about. The thing is to maximise the price for your client and to try and get as much as possible. And I've been doing that for so many years that people just come because they know the philosophy that I work by and my team works by. You know, a friend of mine recently sold in Bundaberg. I don't know if you're familiar with Bundaberg. And she rang me. I've been there to visit the rum place. (laughs) Well, she rang me stressed out because she says, my agent is not working for me. He's working for the buyer. And that's just so wrong. That's just so wrong. Yeah. And and Madeline, you think the uh, that part of the world that you're in is is going to go ballistic in the next year or two? How is the market now? At the moment, we've come out of uh, um, winter is seasonally uh, a very quieter market, um, mm-hmm. just because of the seasonal thing here in Brisbane. We're going now into the spring market, which traditionally is our biggest and busiest time because of all the transfers that happen at the last quarter of the year. And homes are selling quickly, um, homes that are priced correctly, homes that are marketed correctly, and homes that are represented correctly. Uh, there's still homes out there that do sit on the, on the market for a long time. But, you know, you look at their marketing that they've put in place, and uh, this is where sellers go very wrong. They try to skimp and cut corners. Some, something as simple as a professional photo can cost you very little, yet it makes a huge difference and mm. attracts more buyers. That electronic marketing these days um, must give photos a really big impact. Well, one of the reasons I'm able to be independent today is the fact that because of technology and uh, nobody um, today, the um, real estate office is, you know, the desktop on your computer um, in your home office, it allows it allows everyone to be on a a, um, a level playing field because we mm. all upload to the same portals and we all do the similar sort of marketing, but we do things slightly different. We use LinkedIn and um, Instagram and stuff like that, individually yeah. for each property. However, it it makes those photos, they're the hero image. If you don't yes. have good photography, you have nothing. There mm. are uh, agents out there who write you know, a thousand word essay describing a property. All you need is some really good photography because people don't read anymore. You know, mm. we're so quick and visual. And uh, so if you have some excellent photography and you highlight the benefits, there we go, bingo, it's old. It's interesting the way the world has changed there. Madeline, it's been lovely to have a chat with you. How can people reach out to you? Uh, look, if they just go onto my website, just madelinehicks.com.au and then just give me an email or phone me from there, that's fine. It'll be lovely. Thanks for your time today. I know you're a busy lady and a lot to do. Thank you for sharing some time with us. Thanks, Wayne. Have a lovely day. Bye. Thank you. If you've just missed my conversation with Madeline Hicks, you've just missed an interesting look at independent real estate in the northwestern suburbs of Brisbane. The good news is on our website, we have a transcript. We also have an audio archive on SoundCloud, YouTube and iTunes. So you can catch up with everything you missed there. My name is Wayne Buckler and you're listening to Business Radio Talkers.fm.